careful because they can throw a fang out the side and pretty easily nab your finger. Good amount of venom for sure. We have turned into a laboratory. Why? Because today, folks, we are answering the question, are baby vipers really more dangerous or deadly than their adult counterparts? Venomous snakes. These quick and elusive animals can be found all over the globe and are among some of the most feared creatures on Earth. Whether it's the way they snake through their environment or perhaps the potentially deadly effects of their bites, people are understandably apprehensive about our venomous friends. Now in today's video, we will be taking a look at one of North America's most widespread and frequently encountered venomous snakes, the Copperhead. These camouflaged beauties can be found in a variety of ecosystems across much of the eastern United States, where they play a vital role in managing the ecosystems to which they belong. It's likely you've heard that a bite from one of these snakes could be life-threatening, even more so if a baby one is the culprit. Why is that? Is this fact or something else entirely? In today's video, we will be putting this claim to the test and actively comparing the venom of both an adult and baby copperhead to answer the question once and for all, are baby vipers more dangerous than the adults? Everybody. Welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, as I'm sure you can see, I am joined by a very special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself, special guest? My name is Spencer Hoffman. I'm a uh, biologist from North Carolina, and I run another YouTube channel, which you might be familiar with, as we tend to share a little bit of a fan base we there. Do. We do. It's called My Wild Backyard, but I'm not in my backyard today. I'm in Jack's my backyard. backyard. As well, you actually, can see, his little... Frog like room, forested backyard, which we have turned into a laboratory. Yes, we have turned into a laboratory. Why? Because today, folks, we are answering the question: Are baby vipers really more dangerous or deadly than their adult counterparts? Now, we already know the answer to this question, so we're just shedding just little seeds, little shreds of wisdom onto your little feeble, growing, formative minds in hopes that we might open your eyes to the truth. So what we're going to attempt today is milking not only a baby copperhead, but an adult copperhead as well, and then comparing the venom of the two against real human blood. And we're going to see if there's any difference in toxicity here or if the answer lies somewhere else. So, without any further ado, Spencer and I are gonna get into it, and hopefully all the questions in your minds will be answered. Let's go. Copperheads are medium-sized pit vipers that inhabit a variety of woodland ecosystems in the United States and some parts of Mexico. Now, these snakes possess a powerful hemotoxic venom that they use to both kill and partially digest their prey. Now, they will feed on a variety of species of prey items such as frogs, lizards, insects, mammals, birds, and more. Due to the nature of these snakes, however, they account for many of the venomous snake bites in North America as their main defense is to sit still and rely on their camouflage to protect themselves. This, of course, can lead to people accidentally getting too close and making these snakes feel threatened enough to defend themselves. Okay, so we're starting with our lovely baby southern copperhead here. This is a pretty small-sized... It's a 
Josh with a lot of life cleaning move there. Now this is, would be a perfect um, individual for somebody to say, oh, careful, it's a baby. It's so much more toxic, it's so much more dangerous. But look at this thing. <laughs> He's cute, he's just a sweet little baby. So we're going to uh, try and get this, oh, you hear rattling that tail. It's a great little adaptation to startle, scare predators. And that's one of his first lines of defense, as well as ambush, these are not quick to bite. So we're gonna try and maneuver this animal into a position where we can safely restrain it and get it to inject as much venom as this little guy can fit into this little container here. He's just so small. He's just so little. the side and pretty easily nab your finger. I think that is the extent of our baby copperhead yield. So you can see a little droplet there, two decent little droplets here and here. We're going to try our best to get this into a syringe to preserve that copperhead venom. Okay. that much venom and now we add a drop of blood to the slide to test our baby copperhead venom against all right now we do venom and we'll put about the same amount of venom in good two drops okay that's a lot of venom but uh, okay and now what we're gonna do is using this syringe just kind of blend the two very carefully. There it is. Dangerous venom right there. We're going to boop and have the two mix under the slide. And now let's see how bad this actually is. Now, due to the hemotoxic properties of this venom, what we're seeing here is the venom actively destroying these blood cells. The venom of these snakes and many other species of pit vipers directly attack blood cells and tissue cells and start to break them down. So here's our adult Southern Copperhead. <clears throat> so what we're doing is uh, just kind of letting it maneuver through this tube here. And once it kind of makes its way out, it'll be a little bit easier to pin. Go ahead and grab the tube. Sure thing. You ready? Mm -hmm. Hold on. He's sorry. mad. <laughs> He's mad. We might just do like that. Okay. Let's spew on venom. Good to go back in. He's good to go back in. Well, I would say it's a lot more venom than oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at all that. That is a good amount of venom for sure. And a little driblet on the table as well. <laughs> yep. So <laughs> there's a lot more copperhead venom. <laughs> there's a lot more where the that came from. From the big one. <laughs> to take this off, I think. Making sure to get it into every cut that I have on my hand. <laughs> Definitely I'm probably worse. fine, folks. I'm probably fine. Definitely worse than the tarantula hog. Definitely worse than the tarantula hog. But take a look at that. That's pretty much an identical amount to what we got with the baby. So now we're going to see... plenty more in that tube there. So we, we know <laughs> the yield was higher. Absolutely. There's probably about... This is probably an equal amount here. So we could probably estimate about twice this. 
is what we would have gotten if everything had made it into this cup, which is an impressive amount of venom. Uh, this is not the most toxic venom, of course, in the United States that comes out of a uh, lovely, lovely species of snake, but uh, it is definitely not something that uh, you would want injected into your person. Mmm, delicious. Some gauge blood. All right. All right, and then a drop of venom. Pull that for a drop of blood. Did you say that's about the right? Yep. Amount? Yep, that looks about right. All right. Now I'm that's just good. gonna. Oh wow. Well. Just gonna mix it up. Delicious. On there. I'm gonna flip it around. This will kind of stick it to the slide. We don't have to touch the venom. Take it back now, y'all. Let's see how this looks under the microscope. Now, here's our blood sample interacting with our adult copperhead's venom. As you can see, once again, these blood cells are being ripped apart by that hemotoxic copperhead venom. But we're not really seeing much of a difference between the juvenile and the adult. Once again, just illustrating that their venom acts essentially in the exact same way. And what's different is the yield. So instead of the juveniles not being able to control that venom yield and being more dangerous than the adults, it's likely that the adults are far more dangerous than the juveniles because they inject so much more venom per bite. So it is actually the exact opposite of the wives tale that these baby vipers are more toxic or deadlier than the adults. Well, I think we had a very enlightening test here. Uh, I, as, I would say so. Exactly. And as far as we can tell, if anything, the adult copperhead venom was more aggressive in breaking down these blood cells, um, which of course, if the venom is either equally or, or perhaps even more potent in the case of the adults or more concentrated in the case of the adults, then of course we can put that myth to rest that the babies are more dangerous to be bitten by. Because not only do you have an infinitesimal amount of venom compared to the adults, uh, but potentially the adults could have uh, more concentration uh, and have that next level of knowledge about how much venom, of course, to inject them. Yeah, what I, what I was seeing here was we had more venom from the adult, and it looked a lot more concentrated because we got a much more dramatic reaction. So any of you out there who are saying that baby vipers are more deadly than adults, I'm sorry, but the science speaks for itself. And you know what? Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Who's telling you that? I want to know. Like, if there's some person that we can all collectively, like, teepee their house for being the ones who spread this type of misinformation, I'll do it. It'll be it'll be a, a members or patron exclusive content, but we will personally. I, I know mean, Spencer has promised to publicly vandalize people's property. Yeah, I mean, I mean if on, they I, spread misinformation, of course. I mean, come on, we sat here milking venomous snakes to disprove things. You think you think we're above vandalizing a house? We are not above vandalism. Okay, we're putting ourselves in harm's way to prove to you that so many of these misconceptions about these animals are exactly that. Mis misconceptions. So I think we've had a very successful test. Thank you, Spencer, for all your assistance and your lovely, uh, lovely uh, microscope we were able to use. And uh, we thank, we give a moment of thanks to our lovely snake participants who were able to volunteer on their own <laughs> for this experiment. Um, but they are back happy in their own little containers uh, and they will be uh, returned to their lovely, lovely homes. Uh, but I think it was a very successful test. Oh, uh, yeah. Really, really cool stuff. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And of course, please go check out Spencer's channel. He's got a lot of amazing stuff. If you like my stuff, you'll love Spencer's stuff. Uh, but sadly, my friends, of course, our time has come to an end. So once again, we thank Spencer. Glad to be on the show. He's glad to be on the show. You hear that? You heard it, folks. Here, you heard Been it. Looking forward to it for a long time. You've heard it here first, folks. That Spencer is glad to be on the show. We have not physically threatened him. We have not coerced him in any way to make that statement. 
he has done that on his own. And I want to make very clear that he's enjoying his time here. He's not being held captive. He's not being forced to do this against his own will. And he's not just being used to make content. So, of course, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Buy the merch, join our channel memberships, and exclusive and and exclusive behind the scenes content on our Patreon as well. Um, tune in next time if you want. Um, if you don't want to, I can't promise that anything bad will happen to you. So really try within your heart of hearts to really want to see the next episode because we've got some doozies coming for you. But we had a great time. Me and Spencer here. Check out Spencer's channel. Check out my channel more. Stick around. Subscribe, obey me, and I'll see you next week. So thank you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your the part of yourself that wishes to consume more Jack's World of Wildlife content. Because that's the part I care about. So thanks so much. See you later. And don't forget to get outside don't and find your own adventure. And, and keep watching Jack's World of Wildlife <laughs> also. Remember that. <laughs>